spreadsheet, you might be surprised some of the things that you can do with a spreadsheet. Each box on your spreadsheet is a cell, and each cell is independent of all the other cells. And so it really doesn't matter which cell that you use. So I'm going to, in this cell, put a 1, and the cell underneath it, put a 2. So what I'm trying to do is establish a pattern. So if I highlight the 1 and the 2, this can be very tricky with a trackpad. If I highlight the 1 and the 2, what you'll notice is down in the corner is a little square has shown up. So you have the blue rectangle that is shown from me highlighting, and in the very bottom right-hand corner of the highlighting is this little square. So what you want to do, notice that the cursor changes as I hover over top of the little square. I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag that down. And if I drag it, you'll notice it continues the pattern. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do a 1, and underneath it, I'm going to do a 2. I'm going to highlight the two cells, and then I, my mouse is going to change. The cursor changes to this little crosshairs cross sign, and I'm going to pull it down, and it fills in the pattern. So I can really quickly get a list of 1 to 100. But what if I do that with 5 and 10? Again, I'm just trying to establish a pattern. So I'm going to highlight the two cells. I'm going to click on the bottom right-hand corner, and I'm going to pull it down. And you'll notice as you pull it down, it figures out the pattern, and now I'm counting by fives. If I do, say, 6 and 16, I'm now increasing by 10, right? So if I highlight the two cells, and I grab the corner, and I pull down, then it is an increase of 10 all the way down the sheet. This also works for dates. So if I put in 2, 14, 13, changes it to a date. And I'll put 2, 15, 13. If I highlight the two cells, it's going to figure out the pattern. And if I pull it down, you'll notice I've now taken it all the way into March and even into May. So what if I wanted um, 2, 1, and then I'm going to do 3, 1. So I'm going to have this increase by a month. I'm going to highlight the two cells, grab the bottom right-hand corner, and pull down. And you'll notice that it is increasing every month, and it automatically knows to start over at the next year. So it's really handy to be able to put dates in there. This also works for Monday, Tuesday. If I highlight the two cells and I pull down, it fills in the rest of the days of the week. Now, if you're not careful, if I just put 5, I put 5 and I push Enter. I'm going to click back on the cell, and you'll notice it still has that little square in the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm going to, I want the plus sign, not the grabby hand. The grabby hand actually lets me move cells. I can drag them around. I want to make sure it's the plus sign so I can pull it down. And that actually just copies, so that's a really handy trick. So if I just type something in one cell and I drag down the one cell, it copies it all the way down the cell. So a common mistake is if you do one, two, and do you notice here I only clicked on the two? Oops, I meant to highlight the one and the two. So when I pull it down, I just get a whole bunch of twos. So you just want to go back and make sure you've highlighted both cells, the one and the two, and pull it down. And it's going to continue the pattern.